The year is 1993. A young Jordan Mallon sits mesmerized in a darkened theater. On the screen, a colossal rears up, its long neck reaching for the sky. For Mallon, it's not just a movie, it's a revelation. Little does he know, this cinematic experience will shape his life, leading him to become a renowned paleontologist at the Canadian Museum of Nature. Jurassic Park ignited a passion for dinosaurs in a generation, inspiring many to pursue careers in paleontology. Before Jurassic Park, dinosaurs were often relegated to the dusty corners of natural history museums. The film, however, breathed new life into these prehistoric creatures. Suddenly, dinosaurs weren't just fossils. They were living, breathing creatures that captured the imagination. Malin, now a leading expert on horned dinosaurs, credits Jurassic Park with sparking his lifelong fascination. Countless other scientists can trace their passion back to that summer blockbuster. Before Steven Spielberg brought his vision of a dinosaur-filled island to life, the public perception of dinosaurs was, to put it mildly, underwhelming. Imagine, if you will, the dinosaurs of the pre-Jurassic Park era. These weren't the dynamic, feathered creatures we know today. No, these were lumbering behemoths, consigned to the swamps and tar pits of our imagination. They were sluggish, dim-witted, and about as exciting as a pile of old bones. Museum displays, often the only window into the prehistoric world for most people, reflected this dreary image. Skeletons were mounted in stiff, unnatural poses, their bones held together by what seemed like miles of rusty scaffolding. Dinosaurs were presented as evolutionary dead ends, their reign on Earth a distant and irrelevant footnote. The world needed a jolt of dino might. Enter Jurassic Park, a film that would change everything. Before Jurassic Park, a revolution was brewing in paleontology. The 60s and 70s saw scientists challenging outdated dinosaur dogma. This dinosaur renaissance laid the groundwork for the film's portrayal of ancient creatures. John Ostrom's discovery of Deinonychus in 1964 changed everything. This agile predator shattered the image of dinosaurs as lumbering oafs. Pioneers like Ostrom, Backer, and Horner showed dinosaurs as active, warm-blooded animals. Jurassic Park captured this excitement, propelling it into public consciousness. In the summer of 1993, Jurassic Park roared onto the big screen, unleashing a wave of dinomania that swept the globe. This wasn't your grandfather's dinosaur movie, filled with sluggish monsters and cheesy special effects. This was a cinematic tour de force, a thrilling blend of cutting-edge CGI and animatronics that brought dinosaurs to life with unprecedented realism. Audiences were captivated by the film's groundbreaking visuals, but Jurassic Park was more than just a technical marvel. It was a story that tapped into our primal fascination with these long-extinct creatures. We weren't just watching dinosaurs on screen, we were experiencing them, feeling the ground shake beneath their feet, hearing their deafening roars echo through the theater. The film's success was nothing short of phenomenal. It smashed box office records, becoming the highest grossing film of all time at the time, and spawned a franchise that continues to this day. But its impact extended far beyond the realm of entertainment. Jurassic Park sparked a global conversation about dinosaurs, igniting a renewed interest in these ancient creatures. Section five, not just for kids anymore. Public interest in paleontology explodes. The release of Jurassic Park was akin to unearthing a time capsule, releasing a wave of dinosaur enthusiasm upon the world. No longer were dinosaurs confined to the dusty pages of textbooks or the hushed halls of natural history museums. They were everywhere, on lunchboxes, t-shirts, toys, and plastered across every form of media imaginable. Museums, once the sole custodians of these prehistoric behemoths, found themselves struggling to accommodate the influx of visitors. Lines snaked around city blocks, filled with eager children and adults alike, all clamoring for a glimpse of the dinosaurs brought to life on the silver screen. Attendance records were shattered, breathing new life into these institutions and highlighting the public's insatiable appetite for all things dinosaur. The film's impact on paleontology extended far beyond museum attendance. It sparked a surge in enrollment in paleontology programs at universities worldwide, Jurassic Park had effectively bridged the gap between the scientific community and the public. Section 6. From Bones to Biomechanics, How Jurassic Park Redefined Dinosaurs 
Jurassic Park didn't just reintroduce the world to dinosaurs. It revolutionized how we visualized and understood them. Gone were the sluggish, tail-dragging behemoths of old. In their place stood dynamic, agile creatures, brought to life with a level of realism never before seen on screen. This wasn't merely a cosmetic makeover. It reflected a fundamental shift in scientific understanding, a shift that the film itself helped to accelerate. The film's depiction of dinosaurs as fast, intelligent animals mirrored the findings of the dinosaur renaissance. Scientists, inspired by the discoveries of agile predators like Deinonychus and Velociraptor, were overturning decades of outdated thinking. The film showcased these findings to a global audience, solidifying the image of dinosaurs as active, warm-blooded creatures. Jurassic Park also pushed the boundaries of how we imagined dinosaur behavior. The film's portrayal of pack-hunting velociraptors, while based on limited fossil evidence at the time, captured the public's imagination and spurred further research into dinosaur social interactions. Section 7. A New Breed of Scientists, the film's impact on paleontological careers. Jurassic Park unearthed a new generation of passionate scientists. The film inspired countless individuals to unravel Earth's prehistoric past. Captivated by the film's blend of science and adventure, many pursued careers in paleontology. Universities saw a surge in enrollment in paleontology programs. The film made science cool, showing that paleontology was about exploration and discovery. Section 8. A Golden Age of Discovery. Unearthing a treasure trove of new species. The Jurassic Park generation inherited a world ripe for discovery. Since the film's release, paleontological research has exploded, leading to a golden age of discoveries. New species are being unearthed rapidly, rewriting textbooks and challenging assumptions. Increased funding and resources have fueled this surge in discoveries. Museums and universities invested heavily, providing tools for groundbreaking discoveries. Section 9. The Legacy of Jurassic Park. A Lasting Roar in the World of Science. Jurassic Park wasn't just a movie, it was a cultural phenomenon that left an indelible mark on the world, particularly on the field of paleontology. More than just entertainment, it ignited a passion for science in millions, inspiring a new generation of paleontologists and breathing new life into a field that had been, for too long, relegated to the dusty corners of museums. The film's legacy is multifaceted. It revolutionized the way we visualize dinosaurs, replacing sluggish behemoths with dynamic, agile creatures that more accurately reflected contemporary scientific understanding. It sparked a surge in public interest in paleontology, leading to increased funding, museum attendance, and enrollment in paleontology programs worldwide. And it highlighted the crucial link between dinosaurs and birds, a concept that is now widely accepted in the scientific community. As long as there are those who look to the past with wonder and a thirst for understanding, the roar of Jurassic Park will continue to echo through the halls of science.